Hi, we're going to do fewer and more, which means we're going to be comparing groups of mixed objects. So our first question says, are there fewer treasure chests or pitchers? When we say fewer, we mean less. So let's count how many treasure chests we have and how many pitchers we have. So treasure chests, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six treasure chests and let's count our pitchers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine pitchers. We want to know which is fewer. So which is less, six or nine? Sixes, so that means that there's fewer treasure chests. Next, is there a smaller number of trains or ladybugs? Smaller number means less. Let's count our trains. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven trains. Let's count our ladybugs. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine ladybugs. So which is smaller, which is less, seven or nine? Seven is, good job. Is there a smaller number of lamps or treasure chests? Well, let's just look. I don't even need to count. How many lamps are there? There's only one lamp. Are there more treasure chests? Right, so I know right away, lamp is less. Next, are there more records or boxes? So this time we're doing more. We want the greater number this time. So let's count our records, count with me. One, two, three, four five, six. There are six records. Let's count our boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine boxes. Again, we want to know which is more. Which is more, six or nine? Which is higher? Nine is, so that means we have more boxes. This time we want to know if there's a greater number of lamps or CDs, compact discs. Let's count our lamps. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. We have five lamps. Let's count our CDs. One, two, three, four. We have four CDs. Which is greater? Which is higher, five or four? Five is higher, so that means there's more lamps. Next question, are there more flowers or dolls? And I'm circling that because I like to have it stick out to me when I reread the question. Now I can look at this problem and get the answer right away without even counting. Are there more flowers or dolls? How many flowers are there? There's one. Is there more than one doll? Yes, so that means there's automatically more dolls. Next question, is there a smaller number of cars or batteries? Smaller means less or lower. How many cars do we have? You count out loud while I cross them out. There's four cars. How about batteries? Count as I cross them out. How many batteries did you get? 
8. So which is smaller, which is lower, 4 or 8? 4 is, so there's less cars. There's a smaller number of cars. Are there more sports cars or umbrellas? We want more. Now I'm going to look right away at my umbrellas because I can see right here. How many umbrellas do I have? I have two. Now, looking at these sports cars, do I have more than two? Yes, I do. And we want to know if there's more of the sports cars or umbrellas. So that tells us there's more sports cars. Next, are there more flowers or pictures? Let's count and mark. I mark and you count out loud. How many flowers did you get? I got nine. And how many pictures are there? Count out loud. There's six pictures. And we want to know which of is more. Is six or nine more? Nine is more. So that means we have more flowers. Let's try one more. Is there a greater number of cloves or apples? Greater. Which is there more of? I see there's how many cloves? There's two. How many apples? Three. So which is greater? Three or two? Three is, which means there's more apples. Great job. I'll see you next time.